Come back to Him right away. There are many Christians who have not prayed for a long time. Come back to Him right away. And He's drawing you back to Him. So I hope that we all have this confidence and say, we are loved by God all the time. He's thinking about us all the time. He wants us to come back to Him all the time. And He welcomes us all the time. And He's happy to fill us with His love all the time. When you are filled with His love and His presence, you have power to follow Him. And you have power to pray for people, to affect other people. And your life will never be different. Never be the same. After that day in 1998, I've been able to pray for many people and many people experience His presence. And I kept doing it in different places. And I find that, that wherever people hunger for God, believe that God loves us, they are the people who experience God. Wherever people say, Lord, I need you, I want you, I want to live in your love, you notice that your life will be different. Right. Hallelujah. Right. So I hope that your life will be different starting from today. Right. Okay, and then another passage, Zephaniah 3.17. Zephaniah is minor prophet. 3.17. You can write down these verses if you cannot find it right away. You can just write down. It's better to write down and then you listen to me. And you can go home and look for it. Zephaniah 3.17, the second part. He will take great delight in you. He will quiet you with his love. He will rejoice over you with singing. Here it talks about the love of God filled with feelings. Now sometimes we think of God's love like a, you know, like an old man in heaven. Loving all the children in, on earth. All the little people on earth. We think of God as someone not so full of feelings. But this verse has, says that He takes great delight in us. And He uh, takes great delight in us and He quiets you with His love. And He will rejoice over you with singing. Then it says that He takes great delight in us, that He's very happy with us. Right. Are there people who are very happy with you? They are. But are there many people, when they see you, they say, I'm so happy to see you. Are there many people like that? Not too many people. But our God who is in heaven is always happy to see us. He takes great delight in us. And He quiets you with His love because I memorized my Bible verses in Chinese. It's quite different in Chinese here. He'll quiet you with his love. One time I, I went to a hospital and I saw a mother holding a baby. The baby was probably sick. So the mother stayed in the hospital with her, with the baby. And then the baby was, <clears throat> was asleep. And the mother looked at the baby from head to toe. And when she was looking at the baby, she was smiling. The baby did not respond. But the, when you experience difficulties and God saves you, or you, when you ask for help, God saves you. Uh, Let me tell you, three times, I almost hit another car. Two times on the, on the ice. I almost hit another car, almost died. And one time, I was so close that the car is right in front of me. I thought the car was going to hit me. And I said, Jesus, I don't know, I have to come to you so soon. I thought I was dying because just in a split second, the car would hit. And the last moment, the car just turned away. I said, this is wonderful. I just stopped and said, Lord, I thank you. You gave my life back. Have you experienced this help in your life like that? Do you remember it? I remember all these things that God has done to me. And one time I pulled a garage door, and then when I pulled the door, my finger was caught. And I had paid for a few months. And I, and I said, if it has been stronger, I, I would have lost my three fingers. I would not be able to shake hands with people, I would not be able to play guitar or the piano. But now I have the three fingers. I thank God for that. 
Have you experienced God helping you? In different situations, even though it seems impossible. So when you look at the Bible, when you look at daily life everywhere, you can see God's love. When you see God's people so full of love and joy and peace, you say, wonderful, so wonderful. Can you hold the hands of the person next to you and feel the warmth and the love of the person? Show some warmth. Oh, I love you. When we go to heaven, would you still say, Lord, do you love me? <laughs> no. You will be living in per perpetual love, right? But can we live like that here? Food. Never stop to taste. But when we eat, sometimes we think of what I have to do afterwards, right? And don't enjoy. We can enjoy God's love. We can enjoy food. We can enjoy the fellowship of the people. And the sixth level is to be motivated by God's love all the time. Let me tell, say this again. You can write this down. First level is to know God's love. To know. Know His love. Second level, believe. Third level, to believe in difficulties. Even in difficulties, to believe in God's love. The fourth level, to experience His love. The fifth, enjoy His love. And the sixth level, motivated by God's love to serve God. If people are motivated by God's love, this church will grow more and more. That's the reason why I come. I came to bring revival. First to your heart. First to your heart. Tonight, if your heart says, yes, I want to live in the love of God all the time. I want to enjoy His love all the time. I want to be motivated by God's love all the time. So now I invite you to stand up. And I will say this prayer of praise. Now if you like being prayed later, you can come forward in rows. But at the same time, I will lead a prayer. I will lead a prayer to enjoy God's love. Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah. you love us all the time. Oh, Jesus. Now, this is a prayer of grace. I hope you remember this. Lord, you're loving us all the time. Even now, you laying your hand upon me all the time. You're with me all the time. It's so wonderful that I have you. Oh, Jesus loves me. This I know. Let the ones do it. 